20 dumb things to do in Minecraft. I've made a list of 20 dumb things that people do in Minecraft that they just shouldn't be allowed to keep doing. Just no. And this list will help you be better at Minecraft, be a better friend even, and it'll make your life a lot easier. And I'll be honest, I've done most of them. Starting with number one, which is when you join your friend's Minecraft server, okay? And what you go and do is this. And to anyone watching who does this, just know you can't be my friend. Just chop down the whole tree, okay? It doesn't take much effort. Instead of this. Which isn't a good look, is it? And the second one is trying to jump over ravines without knowing if you're gonna make it or not. That especially applies in hardcore worlds. If you do it in a hardcore world, yeah, then that's it. You're done. It's over. I hope I made that dramatic enough. Anyway, let's move on to the third tip. Which is digging straight down. You know, it should be obvious that this isn't a good idea, especially in Minecraft 1.18. Because you can end up in a massive cave and plummet to your death. Yeah, just imagine this as a massive cave and me plummeting. Fourth tip, eating rotten flesh. Well, you temporarily get a boost in hunger, but then you start losing hunger again. So it's just an orange bad food source. Just avoid eating it if you can help it. And in a similar vein, eating carrots or other terrible food sources. Golden carrots, however, I like them. They are really good, actually. Tip number five, not enabling whitelists on your private server. This can be really bad because people can come onto your world and destroy everything. So that's a pretty bad one to make. And I've actually made this mistake. I was hosting my own server and some people had my server address and they joined them and they griefed my house that I built out of wood. They, they burnt it down. So if you don't want to have that, just turn this to true and you should be fine. And in a similar vein, Playing with griefers. Yeah, this it's it should be obvious why you shouldn't do this. But just make sure you can trust everyone you invite into your server because they might just do something like this to your base. And number eight is reptiling too fast into unloaded chunks. And as I just demonstrated, you can plummet or you can bump into mountains because you don't know what's in front of you. Number nine, using pressure plates as a floor. First of all, clicky noises. And second of all, this is just waiting to be trapped. Just put some TNT under there and that's the job done. You've trapped someone's floor. Just please don't do this, okay? And it, it doesn't even look that good. So just don't. Number 10, being rude to moderators. Just expect to explode spontaneously. Number 10, building a fireplace in your wooden house. I mean, Unless you want your house to burn down, don't do this. Except if you have 
fight action of which can be done using a simple command game rule do fire tech false and now nothing will burn down that was number 11 was it <laughs> i said number 10 <sighs> life's a struggle isn't it number 12 experimenting with dangerous objects in survival mode such as end crystals <laughs> yeah that's what you get number 13 punching villages i mean if you do it by accident yeah then that sucks but don't do it on purpose because the prices will just go up and in a similar vein killing villagers by hand not only do all of the villagers prices go up you'll also be attacked by iron golems instead of that use flint and steel then they'll actually not know that you are the cause of their death and with that said i'm gonna burn this whole village down and all the people in it yeah you're enjoying that yeah have some more no have some more <laughs> what have i become i'm a monster number 15 not using optimization mods when playing on a toaster i am currently using sodium which is one of the best optimization mods out there and I am also using the zoom mod in order to give me back that Optifine zoom. I used to use Optifine but that doesn't work anymore with 1.18.2. It hasn't updated yet so I'm currently using sodium and I think I'll keep it that way. Number 16 is a classic and that's sleeping in the nether. Or in the end, because as you can see, the bell explodes. Yeah, it's pretty easy to make this mistake. Number 17, taking a prank too far. <laughs> I mean, blowing up your friend's house is one way to lose friends. That was a bit overkill on the TNT front just it's blown up the entire house and the surrounding area as well only a few concrete blocks still survive number 18 building a river next to your beloved builds yeah that's not a good idea because it's gonna destroy them Wow, it's, it's already destroyed my, half of my house. Yep, it's destroying it. Number 19. Killing the Ender Dragon without having brought a water bucket with you. Oh, yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> Whilst when you bring a water bucket with you, you can do this. Oh, I really need that. <laughs> but always bring a water bucket with you when you go to the end, because it might just save your life. Number 20, looking at Enderman. Yeah, yeah. Especially without any armor, you get killed pretty quickly. But you can get around this by wearing a carved pumpkin on your head. Look, I'm looking at this enderman right in the face and they don't see me. And you can use a resource pack to remove this overlay so you can actually see stuff. And that was my final piece of advice for this video. And yeah, I know 
the title of this video is 20 dumb things to do in Minecraft. But that doesn't mean you should feel dumb for making these mistakes, okay? Everyone make mistakes and that's just life. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, please, thank you. And I wish you an awesome day. Goodbye.